Hello, and welcome back to my Hearts of Iron 4 modding tutorials. Uh, before I start off this tutorial, I want to say a few things. Um, first, I want to say I'm sorry for the large break in between uh, this episode and my last episode. Um, at the time of this posting, this is during the whole uh, pandemic thing. So, things are a little crazy right now. So, um, but today, in this episode, we are going to be, uh, I'm going to be teaching you how you could change flags within your mod. Uh, a few things you're going to need to be able to mod flags. You're going to need a graphic for your flag. For me, I'm just going to be turning the German flag into the old Prussian flag. Um, you're going to need a GIMP. And then, of course your mod. Uh, last time I made a video, my old mod was no longer working because it's outdated. Uh, so today I made, I just made a new mod called Flag. Uh, obviously, for whatever mod you're doing, use that folder. Alright, so first thing you want to do, get whatever you want your image to be. So for me, obviously, I did the Prussian flag. Now you'll notice I have three Prussian flags here. I have Prussian flag 1, Prussian flag 2, Prussian flag 3. That is because you need three different sizes for your flags. You, you have one for GUI, you have one for uh, uh, units, and then I believe another one for the top left corner whenever you're in game. Now, what are those sizes that you need them to be? You need three of them. You need one of them to be 82 by 52 pixels. Your second one, your medium, so your large one is 82 by 52. Your medium one is 41 by 26, and then finally your small one is 10 by 7. Now, what you want to do is you want to open up your two folders. Over here I have my mod folder, and right here is the Hearts of Iron folder. And what you want to do is you need to get the add a new folder, GFX, make sure it's not capitalized. And then once you go in there, Create one simply called flags. And then within flags, you will also need to create one another folder titled medium. And then a folder titled small. So all of your large ones will just be within the flags folder, your small ones will be within the small folder, and your medium flags will be within the medium folder. Now, what do you need to do? Secondly, what you need to do, so you need to get, go into the regular Hearts of Iron files, and you need to find three flags, for one for each size. For example, this one right here. I'm just going to copy that. Put that on my that onto my uh, desktop. I'm going to go into the small. I'm going to copy that one again. It's easiest if you just do the same one. Paste that. Oh, that is right. You cannot. Okay, I'm going to have to move them out one by one because uh, they all have the same name. Alright, so we're going to start with the large ones then. So, Drag that Prussian flag into there. You're going to go into export as. And then you want to find whatever file you dragged out onto your desktop. So in this case, it's ADU. I don't know which. This is a new country. I'm not sure what that one is. But uh, once again, make sure this one that I dragged out is one of the large flags. So make sure when you go into GIMP, you use your large flag. I'm going to export it as that. I'm going to rename it Germany. Oh, whoops. Sorry. I'm going to rename it Germany. I'm going to save it and I'm going to export it as that. When this box comes up, you need to turn off RLE compression. If you do not turn off RLE compression, the flag will not work. 
because the engine will see that it's a different size. It'll make the si file size smaller and it will not use it. So make sure that is turned off and you can export it. Look over that. And then we have a Germany TGA. And if you want to make sure that it worked, if you want to make sure that worked, you can just drag your new file in. And look at that. It worked. So now we're going to go into your mod file. And since this is the large one, this one just goes straight into the to the folder titled flags. All right, we can get rid of this one now. All right, next we're going to do our medium flags. Let's go to medium. Try and use the same one. It's easiest that way. All right, go back into GIMP. I take my medium flag. Once again, export as, find adu.tga. I'm going to rename it GER because we are replacing Germany's flags. Export. Make sure RLE compression is off. We have another one. So I'm going to, once again, go into my mod. I'm going to go into my medium folder since this is my medium flag and put that in there. Finally, let's do small. Get rid of this one. So we're going to go into the Hearts of Iron folder. We're going to go into the small tags. Going to take this one. All right, go into GIMP. That is not GIMP. <laughs> All right, go into GIMP. Take the really small flag. Oh, look how tiny it is. All right, going to export that into ADU. Whatever that stands for in the comments, let me know what ADU, what tag that is. All right, Germany. Export. RLE compression is off. And we got our final one. Go to this. Over there. Now, with naming your flags, naming plays an important role. If I were to go into the Hearts of Iron folder, you can see that there's this one's just ADU, then this one's ADU underscore communism, this one's underscore democratic. Now, if you add the underscore and then ideology, that flag will only appear when you are of that ideology. If you do not add the underscore ideology, it will be this flag whenever uh, the ideology is not specified. So if there wasn't uh, for ADU, as you can see, there's uh, one there isn't one for non-aligned. So since there isn't one that's specifically for non-aligned, it'll be this one. If there wasn't one for communism, it would be this one. If there wasn't one for democracy, it'd be this one, and so on. So make sure if you want there to be a different flag for each ideology, add the underscore and then ideology name. And once again, make sure they are all TGAs. And if we were to go into the game, we will see. Germany now has the Prussian flag. So, uh, that is flag modding. Uh, once again, just quick overview. You need three flags. The large one, small, the medium one, and small one. And then you are going to put them into a GFX folder uh, under another folder titled flags. However, the medium one and small one will get their own folders. Uh, you're going to go into GIMP and save them as an already existing flag and then change the name into whatever um, whatever tag you need and add the underscore ideology as you need it. Uh, I want to thank you all for watching this video. Once again, I'm sorry that it's taken me so long. Uh, I kind of go in spurts when it comes to Hearts of Iron formatting. Uh, so there can be some time between episodes. Hopefully next time we will be doing uh, national focuses. Um, National focuses, I'd say, are one of the more difficult things to mod because there's so many things that go into them. Uh, let me know in the comments below what else you would like me to cover. If there is anything else, any questions you have for flag modding or any modding in particular, I can I can answer your questions in the comments below. Uh, thank you much. Thank you very much for uh, watching. Bye.